owners of Colonial Village have to bring the property into compliance by fixing code violations, increasing staff, maintenance, and security, or face receivership. Columbus City Attorney Zach Klein says people living at the properties on Rand Avenue and East Livingston Avenue have suffered enough. So why, why Colonial Village? What brought it to your attention? What's going on and what can the tenants expect? Well, there's no doubt that there's salt of the earth people that live at Colonial Village, that they're trying to raise their family and live their life in Columbus in Colonial Village. The, the problem is there's agitators, violent individuals, and a negligent landlord who refuses to take care of the property. Uh, and that's why my office and the city, the Columbus Division of Police and Code Enforcement, uh, now have a, an active case in front of uh, the environmental court judge to hold those landlords accountable to lift up that community and give those kids that you saw talking to their parents and guardians a chance to succeed. Uh, they deserve that. Every family in Columbus deserves that. And now that we have the court involved, I'm hopeful that we will be able to get a resolution to improve the quality of life in, uh, for those families at Colonial Village, increase public safety, and get everyone the fair shot that they deserve. What can, what can the residents expect during this process? Well, over the next 30 days, the current landlord and owner has the requirement to clean up the property, uh, to bring it within code, to get rid of the infestation, to improve the property with the division of police if necessary to improve uh, public safety. They have a hard stop as far as I'm concerned at that 30 day window. If the 30 days is up, then we are going to move forward with um, asking the court for uh, a receiver to come in, to take control of the property, and then that receiver will clean it up if the landlord fails to do it. Will it actually affect the tenants in terms of, do I have to move out? Do I have to find a new place to live if it goes into receivership? Well, I, I, I hope that it affects the tenants in a positive way, that when uh, if the landlord current owner fails to uh, clean up the property in the next 30 days, that they're only going to see improvements in their quality of life and in their safety from this point forward. That will be my office's goal in working with the division of police, working with code enforcement, working with the court, and then ultimately working with, with the receiver as one team to lift up the property and the families at Colonial Village. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Cynthia Rossi on NBC4i.com.